Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making a kale and green bean pasta. It's gonna look like this. We're gonna add some cherry tomatoes in at the end. It is absolutely delicious and I love getting my greens in. They are so important. I notice the more greens I eat, the faster I'm recovering from my workouts and I just feel really great. So I try to get them in raw as well as cooked. So when I eat them raw, I'm usually adding spinach or kale or cucumber to my smoothies and then cooked is obviously you can do it all cooked, right? So let's get into it. We're gonna start uh, chopping our kale. All right, so we're going to trim the kale away from the center stem. The center stem tastes quite bitter, so we just wanna get rid of that. And then we're just gonna chop our kale into chunky pieces, because when it cooks, it's going to shrink down anyway. So we got about two cups of kale here. A large leaf of kale should give you about one cup. And we're gonna have two cloves of garlic. Um, so just roughly chopped, you can leave the chunks um, whatever size you like. I like to leave them quite big in this dish. And next we're going to get our green beans ready. So two cups of green beans, just trim the ends off and then cut them into about two inch size pieces. All right, now we have our veggies all chopped. I've got my green beans cut into about two inch pieces and I've just put them on to start to boil. And normally I would steam them, but I don't have a steamer here. Um, at the kitchen that I'm in today. So we're just gonna do, give them a boil for about 10 minutes and then we are going to shock them with cold water and ice to keep the nice green vibrant color. I have my kale chopped and my garlic chopped. So now we're gonna saute them. Let's get that garlic cooking. We're going to put one to two teaspoons of olive oil into a pan and you're going to cook the garlic for about two minutes just on a medium low heat. Now we're gonna add in some more avocado oil or olive oil, whichever you prefer. And we're going to add our kale and cook our kale now. So the kale is gonna cook for about eight to 10 minutes. So I just let it sit on for a few minutes let it get started and then you know every few minutes you're going to go back and you're going to stir it move it around until it um, gets nice and cooked it's probably going to shrink down to at least half the size okay and now we can get the pasta on to boil cook it as per the directions on the package all right so while our veggies are cooking i'm going to start having the baby tomatoes um, to add to the finished product All right, our kale is looking nicely done. So now we are going to add some salt and pepper to taste to season it. And now our beans are cooked. So we are going to take them out of the hot water, strain them and put them into ice cold water to shock them. This helps to preserve the nice vibrant green color. And our pasta is ready, so we're going to add a tablespoon of avocado oil to it and then season it with salt and pepper to taste. So here we have our finished product. Looks delicious. Lots of beautiful green veggies, fresh tomatoes. Absolutely yummy. So. The description for the entire recipe is down in the description box. Um, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And the link to purchase the cookbook is in the description as well. I'm gonna serve this actually with some bruschetta tonight and a cup of homemade carrot soup that we have left over. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video.